Hey hey everybody. I need to do all the mantis today. I need to do a couple of rehousings. We've had one that's molted and needs to eat again. The little ones all need the flies and they all need a spray down for humidity. So we may as well just do it all in one go and put it on film as we do it. So we'll start with the spiny flower mantis. Which just needs a spray and some food. Oops, my camera's that way. There we go. This one not long molted. I don't think it's quite big enough to eat a cricket yet, but we'll give it a try. Go on, give him a squirt. We'll have to do that. Make sure he's all damp in there for his humidity. That's it. Yeah, we're going to have to get some baby crickets. We've only got big ones. This is going to be miles too big for this thing. Oh. Are you sure about that? No way is that little thing going to eat that big cricket. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Mate, that cricket's like three times your size. <laughs> That's like me trying to eat an emu for my Sunday dinner instead of a chicken. <laughs> It's holding it as well. I hope this is on camera because, yeah, it is. Okay, so. It's upside down, just saying. It doesn't matter. It's fine. I often. You can, when you edit it, you can tip it upside down, so it's no problem. Right, little one, are you going to be able to hold on to your cricket, hold on to your net while I tip you upside down and put you away? Probably not. Or are you just going to fall? i would just leave him, he seems happy. You can't. Right, yeah, cricket. I think what we're going to do is just put him up on the shelf as he is while he eats. He's not going to go anywhere. Not with a face full of food anyway, so... If we can find some smaller crickets for all these, I think we might try all of them. So this one is my son's, which is a Herodula Blue. This one molted ages ago, so... But we know this one is very quick on its feet. Very quick, so we've got to be very careful with this. Have I got that in shot? Um... There it is. Sorry. The camera's doing weird things to me. Right. Just wait a minute. Um, oh, that's a dead cricket. Got one. Let's see if this one wants a cricket. If you can hear pinging, it's a locust in the background. Oops. God, we've got escaping everywhere. <laughs> can we see? I think it's because I've got it too high. Maybe. How's that? That's better. Is he going to focus on this little one? Not really. I was focused. Hmm. Right, give him a squirt. Get him looking at you. So let's see if we can get this one back. 
This one has been fed a few times, so it's probably just not hungry. It did have flies the other day. Well, we put it a cricket in. It's had its spray. And it's done. How's Fred doing with his cricket? Oh, he's ripped it apart. Oh, God, he has. He's ripped, <laughs> he's ripped the, the cricket off. in half. <laughs> Just enjoying a cricket drumstick. This is the dead leaf mantis. Might have to have this for this because it's smaller. It molted and lost a leg in the molt. But to be honest, it doesn't seem to be doing it any harm. What's your... Let's see if this one wants a... Oh, mm, this one might need a little baby one, look. Yeah, you can squirt him in a minute. Oh, run it, run it. What are you doing, Wobblehead? What's going on here? I want your cricket. The cricket's grabbed onto him. He's just confused. I've never fed these little ones crickets, so... It's new to them, but it doesn't look like... He's interested. Never yeah, there he is. We're going to have them all around the room in a minute, all eating the crickets. This one up here. It will eat each other, so be careful. I know. This one is enjoying a cricket drumstick. <laughs> what funny little ones they really are. Very good. Maybe if you persevered with the green one, that might have took it, but we will leave it be for now. So what we'll do is we'll move Versi up. That's yours. Mm -hmm. Versi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right, we're going to put him up here out the way to finish his dinner. We'll keep a close eye on it. Who's he? Here's a paradox. Right. Now, we made these little containers out of the cricket boxes that you get the crickets in. So, I'm going to put these slightly bigger ones, which is um, this little stick mantis dude. We'll get him out in a minute and show you. In this. So let's give him a squirt. Make sure it's good soaked down. That's it. I'm sorry, you can't see because the camera's. It's going with the lens. There. I guess one more comment. There he is. Always comes out and says hello. Come on, little one. There we go. And he really does just look like a stick, like a sticking set. One of the brown sticking sets. The camera won't focus. It's focused. Is it focused? Yeah. Right, so we're going to put him in here. And get it to go on and see if this one wants a cricket. If not, we'll just put some flies in, it's not a problem. One of the big ones does like um, roaches, but we don't have very many little roaches. We're gonna have to try and get some roach nymphs or whatever you call them. Because I think they're better for them than the crickets. So let's see if we can wiggle this by a leg and if we'll enjoy a little... Oh. 
Because I think what's more awkward is they will only eat live food, so you've got to wiggle it. There we go. And we do have hoppers here as well. I was gonna tr I'm going to try the bigger one and a hopper. My bigger one. Yeah, see if it'll eat a hopper because I think they might be a bit more better than the crickets. Um, I've lost me flash, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm afraid the cricket's going to make them ill because somebody mentioned it to me once. It's unlikely. But have you got your flash on your phone? Well, I'll finish it's this. It's on 2%. Oh. You can have it for about a minute. That's all right. So we can get him to push his bum in so we can shut the container. Come on. Go and eat your cricket over there so I can shut you up. How's the others doing? Hmm. There we go. This Don't one's fall. still enjoying a cricket drumstick. He's almost finished it already. Even though the drumstick's like the same size as his head. No, we'll just put him at the side to finish his cricket before we start disturbing him anymore. I don't want him to fall. So the next one, the same thing. I did the one give me a good squirt. The container for the crickets. Squirt the top so we can have a drink. That's it. Look at him doing a little dance. <laughs> and this is the Oh god. I'll take him out first. But this one it acts really weird when you try and take him out. Oh, it's going to come up, but... It's going to come up and say hello. It's the last one left to molt. Everyone has molted apart from this one. It's coming up. And he's not eating, so I'm presuming he's going to go for a molt sometime soon. So we're going to get him rehoused. But I love this one. This is one with the big bulba size I keep getting on camera. He's so cute. I can't remember. Is this a dead leaf mantis or is that the other one? I'm not sure. I think the other one might be ghost mantis. And this one is a dead leaf mantis. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll get him in. Oh, I'm a little one. Oops, careful. Well, you've got to go in your new home. You can't stay with me, buddy. Come on. Sorry if you see Flash and Charles trying to take pictures of his mantis munching on it. I've got one picture. I'll turn the flash on for you. Pick it. Uh, Is it even see. on the camera? My cricket. No. Maybe. That's an eating for about close to a week now. I don't. I, I'm pretty sure. Ev oh. Five out of six have molted, so I'm sure it's going to be due a molt. So, I'm not overly bothered. No. I'll s no, I don't need that. What I'll do is I'll just chuck a little one in the bottom, and if it wants it, it'll get it. Come here. The little one that's alive and going to run around. <laughs> And now, the last one, which is my son's. Which is our biggest one. It just molted about two, three days ago, so it'll be due to eat. 
I just want to see if I can get him out because this one is absolutely beautiful. You're sticking your fingers under the camera. It's all right. I can't see anything. Quite often get my hands in the camera. I think everybody's used to it now. Come on. There we go. Now, can we get that? Are we mm -hmm. focused? Yeah. Look at the size of that beauty. This one's enjoying the rest of its cricket. Put them all away in a minute. It's so cute. So we're going to try this with a hopper. Don't jump, matey. I think this one's big enough to eat one of these baby hoppers. I'm pretty sure. Over here, on top of here. So we're going to put him back. Come on. Got some nice food. In. I'm not sure how or if you're going to get to see this because it's gone to the back unfortunately. Let's see if we can find a small one. Oh, I'm just done into that lid. <laughs> well, if you don't do that to the lid, these hoppers are gone. True. Like they were in my room the other day. So let's see. One little hopper. Alright, hold on, hold on. Just one second, see. Alright, yeah. Mmm, <laughs> dinner time. Ooh, dinner. He's definitely looking at it. Oh, what's this? You know you want it. Run. I dare you. Yeah. Good little mantis. There we go. So they do take hoppers, which I'm really excited about because hopefully I can get them all once they've all molted again and you get that touch bigger. I can get them all onto hoppers. You can get them in basically yeah. any size as well. Get them, well they're the smallest hoppers you can get, so the, the small ones need to be a bit bigger, I think. Yeah. The, the three bigger ones will be okay, the three small ones need another malt. So, that stops me from having to buy all the silly fruit flies. Because they're just a nightmare. But I do use them for my slings, but I don't have to. Um, I can stop with the crickets. The silly pinhead crickets, because like I say, I'm not 100% sure that they're healthy for him all the time. And the, I can't get mealworms in a smaller size. Cool. So, there we go, that's six mantis, fed, watered, rehoused for the ones that needed them. And they're all happy. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.